Today we're talking about saving time and a heck of a lot of frustration, cleaning up dates in Excel. Hi, I'm John, qualified accountant with 25 years Excel experience. And if you want better Excel results faster, then make sure you hit subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss any of my time-saving tips. Now, typically, you know, when you paste information from other systems or the internet or anything like that into Excel, it's pretty good at recognizing what it is. But quite often, dates are one of those things that can quite often mess up. What if you've got a bit of a mess on your hands? And what do I mean by a bit of a mess? Well, let's imagine that I say I want the date value of this, just test it. And I've got among a bunch of sort of numbers, but I've also got some errors. And when I look at the errors, so let's look at these first couple of errors. You see 4, 14, um, 19, 12, 23, 15. So there's clearly a month, day, year value going on there, right? And the reason that it's not understood is because of my local settings here in the UK are the default is day, month, year. Now, if you're in the US, it, the errors would be the complete opposite because it would be erroring on things where it's clearly like, I don't know, you've got a day number that's above 12. So it depends on your local setting as to what's going to error, but the, the thing is, you've got errors. And what's more, if I change that into a long date, it says the 4th of July 2019, but the chances are that that is also um, month, day, year, so it should be the 7th of April. So it thinks it understands it when it doesn't. So we've got a problem here, right? So let's just get rid of all of that. And I'm just going to change this back to general format so that we don't get confused. So the first thing we need to do is switch the month and day around to whatever local settings we've got. So in my case, I want to take the month, which is the first number, um, and then the day, that, which is the second number, and switch them around. And in order to do that, because it's sort of dynamic, I've got two digit and one digit months and days going on, I need to find out where my um, backslash positions are in the text. And then I can use the mid function to kind of extract that data. So first off then, let's find these functions, right? So first off, I'm gonna find um, the first slash. So find function, find the text, well, that's that. And where I want to find it, I want to find it in there, all right? The next thing's an optional argument, so I can ignore it for the moment. And here I go, is I've got a whole load of twos and threes, depending on whether it's a one digit or a two digit month. Let's just call that slash one. And then I'm going to find as well slash two, all right? The second one, because that's going to give me the position of where essentially the year starts and you know the day finishes so it's the same thing find and we want to still want to find the slash right and we still want to find it within that text but now we can use this optional num uh, argument of the start position right because we know where the first slash is so that is there so if we just start one pace past the first slash we know we'll find the second one right so we do that there we go, we've got a whole series of numbers now. Incidentally, all of these functions that I'm using today are on my 33 Fantastic Functions Excel cheat sheet. So get your hands on that. There's a link in the description where you can download it. And also there's another link in the description where you can download all of this example data so you can practice yourself and run through it too. All completely free, of course. So now we need to construct our date. So if I pull out the month first, right? So it's the month. I'm gonna say that the month is the everything before the first slash. So we can use the left function, which takes everything to the left of a certain position. So what do we want? We want that text, but we only want it, the left characters up to the slash. Now the slash is at position two in this example. So I need to take one off of that because otherwise um, I'll pick up the slash. So if I leave that off for a moment, you see you get the number with the slash. So you just need to make sure that you take one off that. So that is our month number. Now I'm just going to center that with control space, control H A C. And then that will just um, sort of highlight it as a month number. It can easier to see. 
So now we can uh, try and extract our day. So our day is somewhere in the middle, but we've worked out the positions where it's between position two and position four. So using the mid function, so which text do we want? We want that text. Where do we want to start? Well, we want to start at the slash plus one. So one position after that slash, first slash, right? How many characters do we want? Well, we want the difference between the first and the second slash, right? So let's say it's that minus that, right? But if I just close that off and though, you'll see, again, you're gonna get the slash afterwards because the difference between four and two is two, but there's only one character between four and two. So again, all we need to do is take the minus one off the end. And there's our day. Again, control space, alt HAC to center it. The other thing we're going to need is the year, and that is always a four digit year by the looks of it. So, all we need to do is take the right characters of that text, and we just want the right four characters, which we'll do there. Same thing, I'll just center it. And so now we've got the constituent parts of our date, proper month, day, and year. And now our function, we can literally just use the date function to construct a date from those three pieces of information. It wants the year, comma, it wants the month, it wants the day, close the brackets. There we go, we have our um, date. We can reformat it as a date and we now have our date proper in there. And if you want those functions, they're all on my 33 fantastic functions for Excel cheat sheet, available completely for free, the download link in the description. Okay, hope you enjoyed that, hope you learned something from it and saved a load of time, and I'll see you soon.